good? Looks like, oh yeah, we're rolling. All right. You want to bring us in? Hey, welcome to the We Didn't Say That podcast with Caleb and Michael. Thanks for coming back, guys. Welcome back. You can call me Mike or Mikey. I don't really care. That's just my formal given name. Just don't call him late because he's very punctual. I am punctual. It pisses me off when people are late. Really? Because I'm almost late to everything. That sucks. That's why I always come to the location with Caleb. And that way... He comes to me. That way I'm friends with him, so... Yes. I, uh... Except for business. If it's something business-related, I'm 100% on time. Oh, for work, I get there 30 minutes early. What? Dude, I don't know why. Every job I've ever had, I get there, like, 30 minutes early. Why? I don't know. What do you do? It's... I just wait. Wait, what? Yeah, dude, I just wait. I think it's, like, so I can get myself, like, my head right to go into the situation of just doing shit I hate. Dude, I've shown up five minutes late every day for almost six years. Why do you still have a job? Dude, because I'm great at my job. Here, maybe hold the mics a little bit closer. I don't know if the audio okay. is picking up. But if, if if it's not off the charts, then that means the audio is going to be decent. Yeah, that's true. So I don't think it's that bad. But yeah, no. Uh, I've like looked it up, dude. It's like so many fucking hours. If you miss five minutes every single day, but you get paid for the full day, after that much time, it's like a considerable amount. I'm not, I'm not even saying it's up because there's so many days that I stay like I've stayed like 45 minutes late and staying late 45 minutes one time equals being five minutes late. every right, single Don't day justify it. Like nine days. Years. Oh, it's going to be on. If you, anybody, if you stay at uh, Wait, work this... for 45 minutes later than you have to and you don't get paid for it, that's can that you should. That is you are for 45 minutes. You are a hero. Caleb, that's you're being ridiculous. A hero. No, you're being yeah, a but hero. for every day. You're... For five minutes, you're the villain. Yeah, but the one time you're a hero, it yeah, uh, where it's yeah, like, I was that just true? Doing a little minor thing. Well, dude, that's all I do. That's bad. That's how you're a hero. Yeah, I'm a fucking hero. Yeah, I I think so. What would your hero name be? If I was a hero. Yeah. If like a superhero. Yeah. Like well, what superhero. would your what would your okay? Because I already know what I would choose for if I could choose a superpower easily. And there's a correct answer to this, and it's to teleport. That's the only correct answer. To teleport, why? And to be able to teleport, it's it. That's it, not even like a superpower. That's just like a convenience. Like you wouldn't be like a superhero. So you telling that. me if you'd be like a wizard, dude? So you're telling me if a frog teleported in here and then teleported away, like into the kitchen, you wouldn't think that frog had a fucking superpower? Is that what you're saying? No, I'd be like that frog probably could get places very punctually, but somehow manages to still get there five minutes Dude, late. Stop. <laughs> Shut up. That has nothing to do with anything. That has nothing to do with a goddamn thing. No, teleporting, that's the ultimate superpower for sure. I don't know about that. What would you say it is? Dude, like a small part of me, like a childish part of me wants to be like, all powers. I want to be able to have all powers. Oh, yeah. But if I could only pick one. Yeah, if you had to, if you had to put, and think about it too. Because there's a if you pick like super strength, that's retarded. Because yeah, you could I know ease, you could like, easily someone... hurt yourself or someone else. Yeah, exactly. Or like you're like you're it's meeting, not. You're I don't want to be like girlfriend's the strongest. dad for the first time. He goes to shake your hand and you don't know. So it. you like go real quick and you just shatter everyone yeah. in his arm. So like obviously, since we're not narcissistic assholes, we don't want to save the world from anything. So it's really it's for Wait, our convenience. On. Yeah, yeah, keep going. That's why the teleporting makes sense. But if I could choose a power, I think it would be to just like painlessly be able to transform into an animal maybe what? have like maybe have like five animals i can transform into Dude, what, what was that show that you could transform ben 10 you'd want to be ben 10 oh yeah i'd want to be Ben 10 but like i wouldn't want to be saving the world i just pick the animals that were so of the best convenience your, okay this is crazy you have to think of some too we'll each think of five like i want to understand your thought process why the fuck would you choose that over being able to teleport well, obviously, uh, you? <laughs> I get places on time. Dude, I think it'd be so cool to no, just be able to fuck around understand. as an animal for a few hours. No, you don't understand. Yes. Like, imagine you're on vacation okay. in like the beach, and you get to like turn into like I don't know a dolphin. Dude, you also don't that'd be understand. sick. If oh my god, this is so you can crazy. fly places and get there early. Dude. No, listen to me. If you had a my clothes would say on. You could That's teleport, the power. and you had a ski mask, you would very quickly become the richest person in the world. Dude, I can transform into like a bug, crawl into a, a safe, and then transform back into a human. Open the safe and get out with all the money. I could still be rich. 
<laughs> this, are you doing this as a bit? Is this yeah, a joke? It is a bit. What would your actual bother you? superpower be? Did it no, bother you? Did you say that you're like, I would be five animals. <laughs> I would become a Disney princess transformer <laughs> made of five different animals. That was a bit. Um, in actuality? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, mean? I was really committed to the bit. I have to get out of the headspace. Um, you, but you, okay, so now that you're being serious, you see why teleporting would be the best superpower, right? Yeah, teleporting would be kind of cool, but I don't know if it'd be the best. I'm trying to think of something better. Because flight is dumb. Flight just, that's cool at first, but then what, are you going to wear a winter jacket in the summer because you're flying because you got to get somewhere? No, just Yeah, you want to look like, like a nerd? Like that. Um, Go on vacation for, if you have an hour-long break at work, dude, t- you're in Hawaii for 55 minutes. Yeah, it's very convenient. Yeah, it's the It's hard to argue against it. Teleporting? Yeah, that's why I said there, there, there is a correct answer, and it's teleporting. I'm gonna be thinking about this for a long time, dude. If trying you, to come up with a better power, you could wake up at oh. you your job. You could work in the middle of. You could be an oil rigger. You know those people make like two hundred thousand dollars a year, and the, they live in the middle of the ocean, and they're just like bah, bah. they're like like pulling. Caleb, oil. If you had this superpower, stop acting like you would still try to pursue a regular source of income well, like working just, on an oil rig well i'm saying for people who are who feel like who are guilty if, for like doing bad things like if you wanted to have an actual job you could and then you could just be teleport every day back to your house you don't have to live there that's what i'm saying it's a superpower if you still want to be like yeah because i'm a normal guy i'm still like working and doing stuff and yeah if yeah that's what the path Perfect. you want to take the noble honorable path so be it but um Teleporting would get you there. And you don't have to do anything illegal. Because everything else, dude, with a superpower, everything else you do, you would it would have to be illegal. Basically. Well, what if like I become sanctioned by the city? To do what? Stop crying. <laughs> I'm going back to my bed. With the five animals? Yes. Well, okay, yeah. so you could be like you could what's the, like you could be like a hawk, so you could fly really quickly. Yes, of course. So I'd be a falcon. A falcon? You'd obviously want to have some sort of bear. Yes, correct. Yeah. I'd pick like a Kodiak bear because they're just giant. Oh, <laughs> let's talk about bears for one second. Let's get into it. I fucking love what bears. What the hell is a sloth bear, and why does it kill so many people? It's like the smallest fucking bear. It's like three foot or four feet tall, but it kills like a hundred thousand Indian people a year. Not a hundred thousand. That might be an exaggeration, but a crazy amount of people. Well, it's also, dude, Indian people, they're crazy. They'll just fucking hit a bear with a stick. It'll be seven feet away from them and they'll find an eight foot stick and hit it. And they're like, oh my God, why did this leopard keep attacking our village for 40 dude, fucking these, no, years? No, these you bears. Those stories? Yeah, I know. It was, a, it was probably a tiger. Not yeah, a it was, yeah. Tiger. These bears can fight off tigers. Sloth bears? Yeah. Dude, they're fucking nasty. It's I know. crazy. It's not... They're ugly as fuck, too. Yeah. They're ugly as all fuck. But they're... You yeah. know why? It's the same it's thing. It's not even... That they don't even eat meat. They eat, like, termites or some shit. Yeah, they eat, like, small bugs and, and shit. Yeah. So they don't even need to be able to do this to other animals. But they evolved to the point that they could over, like, centuries of just being the bitch of the forest. Well, dude... That's it's, crazy. It's because they have that bear in them. They got that dog in them. Got that dog. But... They're also little, like every other thing that's little, like every, the littlest version of any animal is fucking crazy vicious, like chihuahuas and dog. Chihuahuas, they are the difference barking, between a bear nonstop, and a chihuahua. One to bite you. What's the difference? I could punt a chihuahua, I can punt a bear. Yeah, well, still, the smallest bear, it's, they, they still feel small. Doesn't matter how I you could, feel about I it. I could, uh, chihuahua bear is not a bear. I was gonna say I could I could beat the shit out of a koala bear if I had to, but dude, it would even be. It would have be you a, ever seen a koala? A wait, four month cub would still give you a run for your money. Wait, have you ever seen a koala bear? Someone? Yeah, I've seen it chase someone before. Dude, it's the funniest thing. Yeah, they're retarded. They look they look hilarious. Yeah. This big ass head just galloping like a horse towards you. I saw one where it, like attacked a child. Sounds it doesn't even look like an attack. It looks like it's just going in for a hug. But it's the funniest thing. You know, they can... You don't they, want to hug those. They're filthy fucking animals. They have gonorrhea or some shit. I oh, love, syphilis. I love... I think... Is it syphilis? No, I think it's... Whatever it is, it causes people to go blind when they pee in their eyes. 
Yeah, you can't fuck around that with a lot. koalas too much. Yeah, no. They're not good to hang out with. All of Australia basically should just be avoided at all costs. Well, yeah, that's what it was. Wasn't it originally a prisoner colony? Like, people were just sending the shittiest people they could to Australia. Yeah, it was, I think it was Europe. The European yeah. collective was just sending all of their... Because their you prisons know, You were know how that happened? No, no, no. You know how that happened? Someone stumbled upon this land. And they were like, let's look at this. And they started walking in. And then they saw, like, a fucking crocodile. Then, like, a giant bird swoop out of the sky and, like, dive bomb them and they're like you know what fuck this they <laughs> left and they went to the prisons and they were like all right give me like a shitload of money and i will solve your problem right now and the prisons were like but well, yeah let's see what this fucker has i mean we can always just hang him yeah. but then <laughs> we can always hang him and take our gold back then he takes them to the island and they're like this doesn't look bad this looks like a tropical paradise and the like, same thing wait, they wait. come off the boat they're like I'm not going with you. Just walk in there a little bit because you're scared shitless. And as soon as they step off the boat, they just feel like a giant spider crawl <laughs> up their pant leg. And they're like, what the fuck is this? They flick it off. They're like, that's weird. It's five of them. They're a little more cocky than me. So they go into the forest in the, or the jungle. It's, a, it's whatever. Yeah. And they're like, what the fuck is this? This looks fine. And then the same bird swoops at them and they're like they bat it away they're like okay that's fucking weird it's and they keep birds. going and then they see a fucking kangaroo no one's ever seen a kangaroo ever and they they're like what the fuck aren't can- are kangaroos aggressive dude have you seen the video yeah the ones where they steal the dogs, dogs. Yeah, 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 yeah 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 they're fucking aggressive all right so they see a kangaroo and it starts hopping at them they're like what the fuck is this and they start to get a little apprehensive and they're like top it off there's a giant fucking snake. And like then they, feet long. they piss themselves. And that snake actually kills one of them. Rest in peace to him. And then they get back on the boat and they're like, all right, all right, how much money do you want? I never want to be here again. Let's send scumbags here. And people who owe us money. And that's how the great nation of Australia came to be. Well, I think it's kind of... That's why they're all so cool down there. Yeah, that's why they're all cool and just fucking bogans. Bunch of fucking bogans. You know, that's like... How are there so many like alcoholics? How many? How is there so many alcoholics in Australia when, like, the, the, criminal, taxes, the taxes on the alcohol is so fucking high? Because they steal it because they're criminals. That's insane. <laughs> this is oh, yeah, so I forgot. Funny. They're just general. They are, group they are yeah. criminals. And you know what? Yeah, just don't give my up, five... Fuck. I don't know. My five animal transformations, I would go there and I'd fight crime. You'd fight crime as an animal. That's five animals. That's undercover. You're going undercover animal. Yeah. What was yeah. that little? What was that movie that dude? G Force. Shout out to G Force. No, it was that movie with oh Beethoven. Dude, no, it's new. It was the one with that little bunny. That Paw female Patrol? bunny is a cop. Oh, I know what it is. Of course, Caleb would remember the side character because it was a bunny. It was no, it's little a new movie. No, it's a new movie. She's the main character. Oh, she has her own movie now. I'm not sure if it's. I don't. Or are you just being a perk? No, dude. I fucking work with kids. I watched this movie like 127 times. I forgot. I think it's called Hop or something. I don't know. I forgot where I was going with this. What the fuck were we even talking about? I wouldn't choose a bunny. It's one of my superpowers. Oh, yeah. You're going undercover. Yeah. I needed to remember the, the title of that movie for a joke, and I couldn't. I just I still don't know what it is. So her I name's w- like Officer Tail or Officer Hop or something. I don't know. I wouldn't be that animal. Yeah, go undercover. No, there's like badgers and shit and turtles yeah. you could be. Yeah. Yeah, I might expand it beyond five animals. So let's say ten. We'd probably get by with ten. Yeah, well, Ben 10 could turn into ten. Yeah, things. ten, of course. Then if I kill one with one of my ten, I get become one of them as well. Ooh. Like a skinwalker. Dude, I like that. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could just kill, like, just kill like someone. People, and then turn become that a... person. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's my villain part. Oh, that's a great superpower. Yeah. You could just turn into someone, commit a crime, mm-hmm. run into like a bathroom, and then you're in there and you just transform back to like yourself. You're like, what the fuck? And then they find the other guy's body and they're like, oh my God, he killed himself. Yeah. Right uh, before, right after doing this crazy thing. Yeah, exactly. We can't find the We're body. never going to find him. <laughs> That'd be the best superpower. Like, yes, I have all the money. But that wouldn't be oh, considered dude, a superpower. That'd say. be a villain power. I remember what I was going to say. So when they were making Australia, they were just sending a prisoners there and they were giving them equipment. They're like, you can either serve your term in this jail or 
we're doing this new program where we want to create, we want to establish a, hell. a new British colony. It's we're gonna call it Australia or whatever. Hell. Yeah, basically a hell on earth. We need you guys to go there and like start building like towns and shit, so like we could come in and we don't have to fight the fucking wildlife. That's basically what. Oh yeah, that's exactly what Russia. Yeah, did. you you alcoholic deadbeat father of. Twelve, you can take your wife and your twelve children there too. Absolutely, that's what the British would also. Yeah, do. because you're also getting rid of your poor. Mm. Yeah, that's how you just keep the money yeah. inwards, just keep yeah. it in the royals. Yep, and push out the wheat. But you know that's what they did in Russia. They but, do that like, in every country ever. Well, no, no. Putin, when they started invading Ukraine, they just started emptying prisons. They're like, mm-hmm, you guys can mm-hmm. be free and go just go fight, and they would just get blown up by like American artillery shells. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of doing Russia a favor with that that's kind of fucked up to say but it's kind of true cleaning out their jails yeah we're just getting rid of their criminals yeah dude the whole thing i know we probably shouldn't talk about it american criminals are probably way worse than most other countries criminals if we would start doing that with our criminals what well like you think about it like we have so we have so many people there's a higher percentage of like serial killers here and no brazil, like that. a million percent brazil the prisons are way scarier yeah brazil. the prisoners are way scarier but the people in the prisons i don't think are as scary as the ones here in america no i have uh, thousand percent. you think so dude okay hold on. dude at any given point we could have like a hundred serial killers in our prison population and we could have a hundred like gang leaders these monsters hitmen dude you crazy talk people about monsters Bra- brazilian prisons literally every single person that is in there is if you brought them here and were to like an- like a psychologist were to analyze them they'd be like oh this person is deeply flawed like this person has massively consequential like they're just like fucking defects in their brain sounds like my first grade report card yeah they're like michael has swiss cheese brand yeah disease. I have crazy person brain. He just sits there. And Wait, goes, what did, oh, what oh, did oh, Frank oh, Reynolds have? Donkey brains. Donkey brains, yeah. Yeah, I had donkey brains. Oh, that's all right. Everyone has donkey brains. Yeah, especially when you're a kid, you're growing. How the fuck do they expect us to know anything? They're, they're gonna Rest be, in peace, Froggy. We're going to, then they're going to legitimately ask us, hey, what's an isosceles triangle? I don't know. I want to go home. An isosceles triangle is where two sides are equal and one side is not. That's great. They form you heard two, it like, I don't fucking remember the angles. I think it's 33, 33, and 66. Am I wrong? I have no idea, dude. I don't know what it is. I know there's I an think equilateral right. one where all the angles are equal. What are all of them added together? 180. Correct. I knew that. What a smart little man. Thanks. I hate dude. Don't even... Oh, my God. Can't even give me... You want to talk about more math? What? What? No. All right. What the fuck math do you want to talk about? I want to see if I can get some more math out of you. What math do you want to get out of you? You kind of do something about it. I just want to see. I want to test your limits on math for a second. You know your times tables? Yeah. What's 33 times 17? What? Get fucked. I'm not doing that. <laughs> All right. He doesn't know his time tables, guys. But anyway. What's 99 times 57, dickhead? Quick. 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 Dude, you're putting too much pressure on me. I was just watching you. I can't do it. All right, what was the numbers again? 99.57. Don't get your fucking phone out. What's 99.57? You're not even you. fucking working. Shut up. Dude, that was great. That's what I thought it was. 4,950. I was just checking my answer. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm a genius. I don't have donkey brains. All right. You do have donkey brains, but you know who else has more donkey brains than you? You. Woody. Oh, fucking Woody. Woody, dude. All right. All right. So one day after work, Woody wanted me to go with him to get something from the gas <laughs> station or something. I don't know why. And I was like, sure, Woody. I get in the car. And I'm like, all right, Woody, this is going to be a normal car drive. I was thinking that to myself. I was thinking that. Woody goes, when he's getting into the car, he goes into the trunk and grabs a fucking tall boy. He goes in, sits down, cracks it open, drinks it before he starts driving. Oh, the alcohol, not of LaCroix, the alcohol. And I'm looking at him like, Woody, what the fuck? Is this a joke? Like, let me out of the car. Wait, so, wait, hold on. So, oh, okay, like a tall boy of, like, beer? Like, yeah, like a twisted tea or some shit. Like, it's going to get him fucked up eventually. Yeah. And he's just drinking it. And I'm like, Woody, what are you doing? He's like, being a legend. This is how I drive home. <laughs> I'm like, Woody, you shouldn't have told me that. He's like, I drink like two on my way home every day. 
on his way home from work every day. He can't just like buy them and then just drive home. And no, he drink them. He buys them before he comes into work, so he has something to look forward to throughout the day on his drive home. Drinking and driving is his reward for a long day's work. So yeah, I cannot yeah, yeah. wait to get fucking no, back drunk to my, and go drive. Back to one of the worst experiences of my life. Serious days. Um, he starts his car and he's going. We turn left, normal. Everything's normal. We stop at the stop stoplight. It's red. We stop. Woody waits for a few seconds. He doesn't see anyone coming, and then he just guns it. Yeah, I thought he was on the side. In like a big intersection. It wasn't like a small intersection. And Woody just guns it. And I'm like, Woody, let me out of the fucking car. And he's like, No, we're fine. We're fine. I'm like, Woody, how close are we to this place? <laughs> And I was, he's like, no, we're, it's like 10 minutes away. And I, I'm literally shitting myself the whole time. <laughs> I'm shitting myself. And then Woody pulls out his phone and he goes to YouTube and I'm like, Woody, what is your son? You're not, first of all, I shouldn't have trusted you to begin with. Now you're drunk. And now you're texting while driving, Woody. You want to pull up a YouTube video? What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, he pulled up a battle rap. He wanted, he played the battle rap for me. It wasn't him battle rapping. It was someone else. And he played it over his speakers on his car, his new car. But we'll tell, we'll tell that story at any time. But then we, he's just blasting this battle rap. It wasn't a good battle rap, guys. I don't know the battle rap, battle oh rapper's God. names, but it was, it was shitty. Woody really thought it was something though. But anyway, <laughs> we keep going. We're driving. Thank God. He would just, he didn't even stop at stop signs. He did not give a fuck about stop signs at all. Dude. And finally, the drunk and mentally ill don't I'm care actually, about like, road signs. I'm actually praying that we get there. Like, I'm actually shitting myself that he's going to, like, kill both of us in a fiery crash. 100% and, Paul Walker. Yeah. That's fucked. <laughs> but anyway, we get to the location. I'm like, how am I going to get home? I don't have my wallet with me. I have my phone. Nice. And I'm like, my phone's gonna die soon. It's at like five percent. Naturally, like, Woody, naturally. can you buy me like a phone charger? And he's like, why though? I like, just buy me a phone charger to break. He goes, you can just charge your phone in my car. I already have one. And I go, oh, Woody, we have a different type of phone. Yeah, he goes, we did. He had like an, an Android. Of course he did. <laughs> <laughs> total Woody move. Total, total Woody move. That's our new term for it. That's yeah. that's socially acceptable. We should stop calling people retarded and just call them Woody. You're acting really woody right now. There's a difference between retarded and woody, though. Woody is woody has violent tendencies. But anyway, yeah, he's retarded. Yeah, he, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's all of the above with him. It's the all of the above. Drunk, retarded, woody, the all of the above. We get to the location. We get into the. Uh, it was a CD gas station. It was. Oh, we were going to cash this check. That's he went what, to a gas station to cash. Yeah, dude, because we get paid on Sunday, and he wanted to like let them take a hundred dollars off so he could get it right away. That that is stupid tax. So Woody tax, and we're there. Yeah, Woody tax, and we're there. <laughs> Holy shit! And like I hear fights in the background, like people talking aggressively to each other. Not like like, hey, what are you doing, dude? It's like fucking bitch, like that type of shit. And I'm like. There's obviously a weed business too because they have more CBD products than anyone else I've ever seen in a gas station. More pipes and shit. Oh yeah. And anyway, what he goes through they there. They take a lot of Woody's money. And then I, yeah, they take a lot of they people's. They a take lot a lot of people's money, not just Woody's. <laughs> a lot of Woody's money. Yeah. There's a I lot forgot, of there's a lot of Woody's running around in that town. They get a lot of all of their money. They give up Woody. Which a lot it's of Woody it's our tax dollars. <laughs> if you think about it, so really they get all of our money. Not not all of us because we don't let the no those gas what, station take a hundred dollars. Get they get tax money from us. We're paying for those pipes and their CBD gummies, so they get high off them. Yeah, but anyway, I'm waiting there, oh, and shame. I see like another coworker come in, and I literally get on my knees. And I'm like, please God, take me home. <laughs> please take me back to where we were. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. And. Thankfully, she took me home, and then I didn't talk to Woody for like a week. Right, naturally. Naturally, because I'm pissed at him. I'm like, that dude, that dude tried to kill life, me like bro. twenty times, and I'm real shitty with him all week. And he, then he finally apologized. He's like, "My bad, dude." Like the shittiest apology ever. He's like, "I just, 
I shouldn't have taken you with me to go get that. <laughs> that was his apology, not that like he tried to kill me. He's like, I didn't. I thought you could handle being there. And I was like. <laughs> I you thought you... I was scared because we were there, would you? <laughs> you psychopath. No, I was scared because you tried to kill me on the way there. And I was like, Woody, have you ever been tested? Um, I, that was the first time I ever asked him. Tested? I was like, he's Woody. like, tested for what? He was like, tested? I was like, Woody, have you ever been tested? Like, What was your GPA in high school? Oh, my God. And he was like, I graduated. <laughs> Crazy <laughs> response. So what was your GPA in high school? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I graduated, Jack. Oh my god. He's like, hey, can you hand me that fucking four loco rolled under your seat? <laughs> yeah. Um Jesus. He gets me going. He gets me god. real upset sometimes. Woody. Yeah, of course, dude. Um you deal with them like a wild animal on a daily basis who can speak English. Yeah, I'm sure I it's used a fury. To. Yeah. Even when I wasn't there, I'd get texts. I would get battle rap texts. I never <laughs> responded to the battle raps. And they'd get real personal about me and my family. <laughs> I would just look at them like one day I'll read some of them to you guys. I'll have to find them in my I was phone. gonna say, do you have do you have the videos of him rapping? I've never had no, he never rapped for me. Uh, okay. he would just send me text messages of his raps yeah, about oh. me. <laughs> oh my god, he'd be slamming you, but he wouldn't even rap it. You would just be like, Yeah, no, nah, I'm just gonna like, tell you a little, little, little secret. I'll tell you a little secret. Holy the activity shit, picks dude. up when he gets banned from Facebook. When he's suspended from Facebook. So would he say is all the energy he was using to get into fights with strangers on Facebook? Calling them horrible things back and forth because he's a <laughs> A Woody. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that uses Facebook. Um, yeah, but yeah, he sends all that to oh. me. I don't know why I never blocked his number. But now I can't get the man back in contact with me because I want him to be on the pod. This is, this is, yeah, this is. One day we'll drive up to his place of employment and we'll beg him. We'll dude. make him feel like a god. Dude, no. We'll tell him we'll do anything but let him drive us to the location. Do you have his number? Yeah, but he's not going to answer his phone. Why not? He probably changed his number. He's a weirdo, dude. Caleb, call him on the pod. Call him and put on speaker. He's not gonna answer. Okay, well, if he doesn't answer, I won't say anything. You just talk to him. Just be like, "Hey, Wood, this is. I just, I miss you. I miss the battle raps. I miss all. You know, I just. No, he wouldn't believe that. He wouldn't believe believe that I miss him. He knows I don't miss him. Okay, well, okay, well, what do we say? We have. We say, Woody, do you want to be famous? Come on the podcast, then maybe we'll all become famous from your stories. Yeah. Oh my God. Well, uh, we might have to zoom him in because I am. A, I have. He doesn't have a laptop. He doesn't have a laptop. We'll do. Yeah, we'll tell him to go to the shit public library. Like, just, yeah, yeah, he goes to the library. Awesome. Get all the fucking we should computer. definitely get him to go to a public library, like he's allowed there. <laughs> Dude, I don't know if he is or not, but I doubt it. I'm sure even if he's allowed at the public library, he won't be for very long. He gets watched. He's going to get kicked out. Oh, dude, if you see... Guys, I've seen pictures of Woody. It looks like a, a human was transforming into a horse and it stopped that point. That's what it looks like. Dude, if, you see, if you see... We're Woody, not knocking his if luck. If you see no. Woody walking into a public library and you know immediately he's just going to use the computers to jack off a thousand percent. Bet the farm, dude, he is using the computers to jack off in the middle of the library. And after he's done, he won't leave either. He'll just do he something just, else. He's just trying to charge back up to me. <laughs> yeah, he's like playing RuneScape for like and four it's not, minutes. Woody actually didn't smell, but most of these people would smell. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I assume. I assume he start, He probably will start stinking soon in his later life. Yeah, of course. He'll probably start to develop some kind Woody of... Woody really likes to play basketball. Yeah? Yeah. I'll get you stinky. Yeah, I'm sure it did. He made the poor work, but I think it's probably because he lives with his mom, so... She probably made it. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, if you live with your mom, she's still you're still on a bathing schedule. You still have to go to bed on time, dude. Show living with your okay, mom. Okay, Woody does not go to bed. Living with your mom is like bowling with the bumpers. Woody I'm slept. not a I'm not Woody a told me he sleeps for three hours a night. Okay, that's probably and why I believe him. It's probably yeah, he's manic, it sounds. No, but then he's always no, it's just he's a weirdo. Dude, <laughs> he's no. different. 98% of human beings to have ever looked need to sleep like eight hours a Caleb, day to he's function different. normally. No, no, he doesn't function shit, normally. He's obviously he doesn't function normally. I know, but even like that's a full night sleep for him. 
So you're telling me if you're telling me if he gets eight hours of sleep, like what would happen? If he's like sleeping for two and a half days, his life. He's like a dog. The dog sleeps for eight hours straight. It's like <laughs> two and a half days of their life. They wake up and be like, "What the oh, shit? Holy shit! I haven't eaten. I haven't drank. I haven't drunk alcohol for eight hours straight. I'm dying." My body's on fire. I need liquor right now. I'm on fire and I'm squeezing at the same time. I'm shaking. That's what an alcoholic is. Oh my that's God. why you shouldn't drink. Oh my god. Well, clearly that's how we get him to do the podcast. We'll get him a shitty like a bottle of shitty K and be like, dude, you can have all of this. I don't know if he did. I don't know. Woody's a weirdo. Woody tried to poison me a few times. It's not actually poison me. Oh, fuck with my food and shit. Dude, I still want... Wait, what? What did he do with your food? This is concerning. Just to me. What would he do? Alright, so he... We'd all, like, have cups of, like, water, like, pop from, like, the fountain machine because it was a pizza place. And what he had this thing where he would, like, to poison mine. He would, like... I'd go outside to, like, do something, throw trash away or something, and he would pour, like, half a cup of salt in my drink. Ugh. And that was like, that was like taller boys. Ah, fucking Woody, man. It's the price for the entertainment. So one day, he crossed the fucking line. What do you do? So have you ever, you know what capsation is, right? Like yeah, the yeah. hot yeah, heat yeah, index. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one of my coworkers, he's like a fucking chef or something. And he brought in like the hottest, like not the hottest, but a very hot hot sauce of like 10,000 or something. Or like a million Scoville units. Something insane. A million Scovies? Just like show us and like let us smell it because he said it was crazy and we did. I was like, that's insane. I'm gonna go outside now. <laughs> and Woody thought it would be funny to take that and pour like three drops in my drink and then shake up my drink. That was the closest I ever came to laying hands on another person. It's when Woody tried to fucking poison me with that. No, he did poison you. I How know. Much did you drink? Did you get like a? Big I did a big gulp because I was like thirsty, thirsty. So. I swallowed it, and then, like, I felt my throat. Like, like searing. It oh hurt so bad. God. It was snowing outside, so I ran outside and just started eating snow. It was the most disgusting I've ever felt as a human being because of Woody. Oh. Yeah, dude. Woody's like uranium. The more time people spend around him, the more fucked up shit happens. Yeah, but it's like a trip every time, so it's fun. Yeah. It's awesome. Well, yeah. But sometimes you get you get bit by the snake, I guess you can say. Yeah, he definitely. Yeah, he definitely bit. He's an animal. He almost killed you with hot sauce. I mean, it wouldn't have killed me. It fucked up my digest digestive tract probably for a long time. Yeah. What was that like? That might be why I can't eat dairy anymore because of Woody. Just kidding. That's probably not a lie. You're just. Uh, I'm scared. I'm becoming lactose intolerant. What's going on with that? I eat milk and shit, and I feel like I'm gonna shit myself for the next three days. Really? Yeah, dude. What about cheese? I can eat like pizza, but I, I, I mean, I'm not an idiot. I don't eat cheese by itself, so that's not a problem. But, like, if I limit the amount of cheese, it's like okay. I get like bloated, but I don't shit myself for weeks. You know? Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. I don't think I'm allergic to anything. I well, honestly, I don't know like what food sensitivities. Except the relationship with your father. Just kidding. That was a joke. <laughs> Caleb and his father are actually close. Yeah. I thought it was a fun joke. My dad's cool. Yeah, no, it is. It's not Hispanic. Your dad isn't close with you, though. <laughs> just... Oh, yeah, you're talking to them, not me. Yeah, no, like... just point over I was like, what the fuck is that back of me? <laughs> not even going to justify that with the response. <laughs> no, dude, but I I, I like to do science, science within my own body. Could you imagine transforming into a wolf? Dude, yeah, it's called fucking Woody, bro. That's what he looks like. He looks like a half human, half a horse, or a wolf. You pick. And he's stuck in the middle. Completely hairless. He acts like it. Completely hairless. Yeah, yeah. You want a fun Woody story? It's like he's like, well, All right, no, this Woody one... is like a, a werewolf who's transforming into a werewolf, but like only 30 seconds into transformation. He's like, I all fucked up. This when the bones start to break. Exactly. Yeah. The <laughs> bones start breaking and reforming. And that's where it stops. That's, that's so Woody. fucked up. That's We're not talking about his appearance anymore. Yeah, Woody's a G. Anyway. We'll just won't clip that. This is the fun part about we'll Woody. clip a couple a fun story about Woody. Woody was at a family reunion. His family. And his dad remarried after his mom and him got divorced. His stepmom 
Woody had a stepbrother. Woody was jealous of the stepbrother. He did not like the stepbrother. He found out that, as I'm sure a lot of things in Woody's family, the stepbrother was married to the first cousin of his. How it goes. Woody found that disgusting. Woody went up to them and their kids at a family function, and he told the kids they were an abomination. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Woody, of all people, went up there and was like, you guys shouldn't be around. It's like, Woody, your existence. He said, this is disgusting. Looked at the kids in the eyes and went, you're an abomination. God, dude, Woody, your existence is an abomination against nature. Yeah, Woody doesn't like kids, I don't think. Woody? Obviously. Oh yeah, dude. No, if you put it. If yeah, no, you can't keep Woody. You can't keep a Woody around children. I love Woody. He's the man. We need he's him. On good... the podcast. I know. I keep talking a lot of shit about him and his looks, but Woody he's is so there. funny. He's a great guy. We need him. On he's the not a great guy. He's not a great guy. He's a stand-up citizen. He yeah. only likes to drink and drive every day. That's fine. That's okay. If you can handle it. Hey. It's not like these pussies hey. who make the law. Hey. Who's telling you you can't fucking drink and if drive? If Woody hits you, don't, no, fuck that. Do not drink and drive. No. Yeah, no, no. I, I got distracted. I should have cut that off earlier. I don't condone no, it. I don't know about him. I don't know how he feels about drinking and driving, though. I was thinking about Woody drinking and driving me to the fuck. I was having a PTSD of Woody trying to kill me. Dude, I have, I have my, I, now that I'm thinking about it, I have a Woody of my, of my own. Your girlfriend? No. Just kidding, Shut guys. Up. No, <laughs> but it's a similar story. It's not similar at all. This is completely different. So you don't have a Woody, no way. It's not a Woody, but it's it's like it's like a it's, Woody's one of a guy. Okay, well you tell me who this is, okay? So I text my buddy, uh his older brother, because my friend actually passed away. But I stayed in touch with his older brother. And I was like, hey man, I was 20 and a half. So I was like four months away from being able to like buy my own booze. Yeah. I was Starting to hang out with Marie. You were six months away from being able to buy your own beer. Well, no, it was, just, but I remember because this incident was fucking crazy. It was like the start of the fall. So, my, and I have an early January birthday. So it was like four months. I'm like, I'm only like sober, long way from buying my own booze, whatever. I'm like, hey, man, can you swing by and grab me a six pack of, I think I just wanted cores because she, my girlfriend likes beer, whatever. And I, I don't really drink, but. Cores. We were just getting cores or whatever. What a pussy drink. What? What do you drink? I don't um, drink. What do you drink? What do you would be very offended if you drink cores in this present? Dude, fuck. I don't care. Listen. What do you drink, Milwaukee? So, okay. So, he was like, yeah, I'll be there in like 15 minutes. I just figured he was going to drop it off. And I was just going to give him like cash or like a little bit of extra. Be like, thanks, man. He's like, I'm here. Come out. And I was like, hey, like, can I? I opened the door to his car. I'm like, can I get the? I'm like looking for the beer. Yeah. He's like, no. Just come with me. We'll grab it together. And I'm like, okay, I'm. I can't awesome. like get out. I can't go into the fucking store because there's a chance they'll check my ID, and I'm not. I don't have a fucking ID that'll work. Yeah, of course. He's like, oh no, no, it's cool. I'm gonna stop by my place real quick, grab something. But I live right next to a gas station. But he lived. You think this is a hood? He lived like South Columbus hood, where there are like legit houses next to convenience stores, and his house was yeah. no shit or the wasn't his house that's a another interesting note didn't find that out until <laughs> we pulled up he so we pulled up he parks and it's literally like a 15 foot walk to like the back of this convenience store we pull him backwards he goes hey i am gonna go inside go grab some money real quick can you hold it down in here and i was just like i thought it was just like a cool white guy thing whatever you guys say like hey hold it down in here. he's white he was white shut up and i was just like okay yeah i'll hold it down in here Dude, he pulls a backpack from behind my seat. I don't see it because I just get in the passenger seat. Pulls a backpack out of the passenger seat, opens the zipper, zip, opens it up, reaches and grabs a small bag that has crack cocaine in it. Yeah, dude. He pulls out, he zips it back up, puts it in his pocket, reaches where the bag was sitting on top of, and takes a fucking arm braced pistol that That's has what I was expecting. the attachments it looks like an assault rifle awesome. puts it in my lap and says if <laughs> any if anyone who's not me tries to get in this car shoot them and That's he awesome. took the crack into the house and left how long are you in the car by yourself 15 minutes i was in that car for 15 minutes dude i was sweating there is no shit michael 
two minutes after he got out of his car, there was this old I'm should have popped him. Dude, it was the craziest thing. No, there was this old, like this old black dude and this old black woman. And they were this guy had a cane and this woman was like, like right, like was like holding his shoulder, like walking with him or whatever. He sees the car. He makes a I dude, this guy is like fucking like walking like this. Sees the car, beelines it with no cane. Starts as soon as he's within distance of the car, starts hitting the front of the car with his cane. He's like, "Yo, man, yo, yo!" Because he sees there's someone sitting. I'm just sitting there, like terrified. I like, I'm yeah. not gonna shoot this fucking old guy, but I don't know what the fuck he's doing. Should have so shot like, him. He's like, "Roll the window down." I just was like, "I'm not <laughs> rolling the window down." So, and then he was like, "He was like, where's?" He's asking for my buddy, who's supposed to be inside grabbing me beer, but he's inside fucking doing whatever the fuck. Crack cocaine. Do probably smoking crack or whatever. So I just I just motion to the house because I'm like, if he's gonna kill someone, I'm gonna hear him kill my friend. So then I'll have a chance to escape. Because I'm not scared of this old woman. She's just standing, she was just standing on the other side of the road, just watching all of this shit go down. So this old guy takes his cane. This is what he knocks with, takes his cane and just starts whap, whap, whap on the front door. After like three minutes of them on the front door, dude. He finally opens it. I'm pretty sure this old guy was buying crack. Yeah, that's what I thought was happening. They're in there for like 15 minutes. He comes out and he's like, fucking looks like Stevie Wonder with his head, like in his shoulders, just like back and forth like this. Okay. And then nothing. The door just closes. My my friend is still in the fucking house. I'm like, what the fuck? Dude, you could have stopped the crack use. There is enough. I'm not getting in that the middle. I'm not going to stop that fucking train. Dude, that, that ship has sailed. I'm, not, I'm in no position to be like, sir, rethink every life choice you've made right now. Dude, I was just saying you could have shot There me. is another car Before, yeah. that pulled up and just kept hitting me, like, turned their lights off, but just with their brights, just kept flicking them at the car. I'm like, oh my God, you dude, just I'm going laugh. to fucking die. Well, dude, I'm like, at this point, I'm like, like south of where we live. It's even sketchier. I'm not getting out of this fucking car. accomplished. If... Uh, yeah, I'm also, if I get out of this car, I'm going to get fucking robbed and shot. You know what? Get up and never drink underage again. Oh, my God. More of the no, story, so... this guy said, this guy planned all this out. He, he, fi- he, a lesson. he finally, he finally went, got out of the car, and he was like, hey, man, uh, sorry about that. I was dude, just lying to me, just fucking lying to me, saying he had to, like, he was on the phone. I was like, whatever, man, that's cool. Can you just, so he didn't even get in the car. He just grabbed a 10 like 10 bucks for me went and bought a six pack i was like cool man that's good uh thanks appreciate it he's like i'll give you a ride home fuck dude i i <laughs> did not i went into that store and i just went i'm like hey can i get a can i get one of those bags just went in and the grocery store attendant was like yeah sure i put the beer in a bag called an uber from that gas station yeah and just fucking and then that uber it was like 45 dollars, but it dropped me back off at mariah's place Dude, Woody. the Uber driver picked me up and he was like, I Woody would never take me to a crack deal. He was like, dude, Woody. Yeah, no, he wouldn't take you to the crack deal. But no, dude, my friend took me and he created he's not your crack friend. Deal. No, he's in jail actually right now. He's in jail. So my friend. <laughs> yeah, free month. No, dude, he needs to be in jail. Yeah, it sounds like it. Yeah, no, he. there's people who need to. I hate that one. Like, really, Woody doesn't need to be in jail. I killed five. He killed five people, but free my boys. Like, wait, wait, pause. No, he needs to. Be Did he here. kill five people? No, no. Ah, my buddy no. didn't. No, no, no. He got arrested because of crack. Oh, poor guy. And fentanyl. Oh, fuck. He should be in jail. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, uh, yeah, the whole world is just crazy. Like, people who use yep. drugs and sell drugs to each other. Just... Besides you guys, if you do any of that. It's crazy. Cool. Yeah, if we have any listeners who like to sell drugs or do drugs, like hardcore drugs, that's cool. Just We don't want any, but cool. Cool for you. Anyway. Yeah. Shut the fuck up, Caleb. What? Oh, yeah. That's a bit I was doing. What? What five animals would you transform into? Oh, my God. We're back to the fucking animals. Dude, fuck these animals. I would kill myself Pussy. if I could. I would definitely want to be... Pussycat. A gorilla. That's one of them. I'll do it real quick. Gorilla, okay. black bear, a bald eagle. What else? Probably a cheetah. And, or no, a tiger. I'd want to be a Bengal tiger. So that's four. My fifth one, definitely going to be a shark. Yeah. 
Yeah. My turn? Yeah, go for it. All right, all right, Real all right. quick. Has to be under a minute. And go. Wolf, Orca, Falcon, Jaguar. Like a big black Jaguar. Sure. Those ones are the cool ones. Um, and then obviously, a polar bear, probably. Not a panda bear. Panda bears are pieces of shit. Yeah. You went and pick another primate? Yeah. I went. I, I went, got that I covered. Went silverback. I want that silverback. There you got bag. primate covered. Yeah, you're already a fucking giant. Yeah. I'd like to just transform. Like, if someone's like, hey, yo, man, like, pull up. Pull up, and we're going to get, like, a fist fight or something. Just turn into a gorilla and just motherfuck him to another dimension. And then people will be like, oh, my God, it was How a does silverback. How mom get there? Well, I'd pull her out too. Uh, I just be banging sense. the mom as I'm counting this dude's hand to, to the fucking earth, like giant gorilla fist, but <laughs> and then just run around the you back of the some house. Some people experience that, and then turn back into a person and be like, "What the fuck was that?" And people are like, "Watch out, there's a gorilla!" And be like, "Oh my god, okay, yeah." And there's a dip. You know, some people experience that. What? PCP. Yeah. Oh yeah. You can turn into like fucking gorilla zombie. Don't do PCP. Haven't you done PCP? You have a PCP Never, story. Not once in my life have I done PCP or been offered PCP. I've been offered a lot of substances that I didn't take up, take the offer up on, but I've never been offered PCP. I would be genuinely scared if someone I knew and communicated with was like casually like, hey, do you want to come over and do some PCP? I would be terrified. Yeah, well, that's crazy. Someone who casually are these people? PCP. Who are these people and what do they do? They smoke PCP, dude. What do they do when they smoke PCP? Where do they go? They vibe. That's they not v- a drug where you vibe. They vibe. It's not a vibe. PCP, drug? and then you just vibe hard. Don't they? Yeah, they you have to go to like fight clubs, you, right? Yeah, That's what you would do on no, PCP. No, fight club is way too organized for people who smoke PCP. They run outside with no clothes on, and they attack just people, Random people. walking their dogs. Yeah, people going for a walk. Someone who's just outside. Had, wasn't there one guy who ate someone's face? On, actually, that's probably a common occurrence on PCP. Yeah, basalt. Yeah, but that happened in Florida, I think. Yes, yeah, so it doesn't really count. Florida is Australia. Yeah, it does, that is true. Florida is. Where, we should just send our criminals there. No, they send themselves there. Prim, Florida is almost comprised entirely of, of criminals. elderly and criminals. Yeah, a hundred percent, and elderly criminals. They're not. They're not out of yeah. this list either. They're fucking definitely there. When you get life, you don't leave the area. No, most people who are born in Florida don't leave. They stay there. I don't mind. Yeah, no, I'm good. It's like the great, it's like the big net. It's like the net for the United States. Yeah. Them in New Jersey. Jersey. Yeah, what else? What other trash states do we have? Louisiana. No, Louisiana has some. No, you're right. Yeah, it's trash. Arkansas. God gave it a bath and still didn't fix it. Arkansas. Yeah, Arkansas. Uh, Their biggest export, Arkansas, is fentanyl. Trash women. Shut the fuck up. Fentanyl users. They make the trashiest, fentanyl lying whores of all time. (laughs) Stop. (laughs) That's so fucked up. You know who you are. (laughs) Wow. I hope they never hear about oh, that. Dude, that'd be so funny. Let's go fucking They'd try. DM good. They trust me. Good. They're a monster. Dude, dude, I don't care. I'm a monster. There's a monster that's under my bed. It's me. Along with horses. That's me. The voice in your head right now? That's, that's my goal. The I'm voice is on your head. I'm the monster that's under your bed. I'm just listening. For you to say not, your biggest insecurities, and then I'm gonna universe. use them against you. Well, we didn't say any of this. Yeah, since we got onto a tangent that I don't know what that was. What that was out there. Oh, PCP stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah no. We yeah. didn't say any of that. Well, we were no, and yeah, no. Legally, we can't be held liable due to uh, the nature of what we say because of the title of the podcast. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, we didn't say. Did you guys know how law works? It's obvious you guys don't know how the law works, and honestly, it's embarrassing. It's, I'm a little embarrassed. You guys kind of stink. Yeah, not only do you read guys... Read a fucking book, nerd. Yeah, read a book. Wait, and don't read a book, because you're a fucking nerd. Nerd. Yeah, there's no winning with us. Yeah. Read a book, you're a nerd. Don't read a book, you're not stupid. Not read. 
You yeah. stupid nerd. Dude, do you, okay. Here, overall, you're just a nerd. Here, let's try to get back on track. Do you know the illiteracy rate for adults in this country? Just no. guess, because you're you're never going to get it. I'm going to pull up the actual figure. What's so, the unemployment rate? The unemployment rate. No. Oh, I'm talking about adult illiteracy rate. I know. Okay. Are, oh, you're just doing some out loud math? Yeah. On average, it's probably like 10%. I feel like probably about 15% of people can't read. Say that again? 15%. No, it's higher. Way. I was trying to be like, okay, this is no. Like, you would think it's like seven percent, twenty-one percent of adults in the United States how do not know get how to read. Does that count blind people? Honestly, blind. No, no that's a terrible example because they can read Braille. Yeah, and which is like even harder. Well, blind people anywhere at any given time, total. Yeah, within a thousand miles. Yeah, no, there's like hardly any. 54% of adults in this country have a literacy rate below a 6th grade le- reading level. How many percent? 54, so half. So, like, one of your parents can't read at, like, <laughs> a 5th grade read. reading level. No, hey. but your dad reads at a 5th grade le- reading level. But it's okay. So does mine. 54%. Wait, wait. All, <laughs> all dads in this country barely I, know how to read. I always forget that. Some areas in the United States are terrible, dude. That's what we're we terrible schools, and I was forgetting. I'm like, okay, everybody kind of lives like, you know, yeah, no, we have, no, no, not at all. And the high school we went to is kind of like a fucking like. There's some. It's our high school, public high school, was better. Yeah, than let's not some talk about college. anything else about where we live. Not going to, but I'm saying the yeah, quality of the I know, I know, I know. I, know. I just it's a big hint. I'm not gonna say the name. Good. You're the fucking person who yeah, keeps name dropping shit. You don't have to worry about me. It's yeah, you, okay. you gotta worry about yourself. Sure, buddy. Listen. Sure, big guy. But what I was trying to say was the education we got it was top notch. Yeah. But so we're a little we're spoiled. Yeah. Well, what's that, that term? What's the term I'm looking for? Oh, better than you? No, that's not it. No, not better. That's just what we're, you were thinking. Like, not, not you're. Not, like, I don't want to say we live in a little bit of a bubble, but I think we do. Well, no, we grew up in a bubble. Yeah, but we definitely, we've definitely, definitely expanded, expanded outside of. Yeah, now we both live in the fucking projects. Well, I don't. We don't live in the projects. Shut up. Dude, you're out there in O Block representing? No. Yeah, dude. We're from Ohio. We don't have an O Block. You know what O Block is? I know where O Block is. Where is it? I listen to rap music. Oh, yeah. Chicago. Drill, baby. Shut up. Have you listened to UK Drill? Yeah, I hate it. Dude, it is the dumbest Terrible. shit. It's, it's a bunch of wannabe gangsters who've never held a gun in their entire life, and they talk about shooting and robbing people. Like, just made-up stories. Yeah, it's Like, you could do it. Just pretend to have a British accent. The little voice that's inside your head, just give it a British accent and just say, like, Rob... Oh, dude. <laughs> you can't do it. The fucking people, the the... They make the cutest fucking names for things. You know they call what bullets you- corn? In UK, in UK drill music, they call bullets yeah. corn. Listen, and they call guns dingers. My dinger let off some corn. Yeah. yeah, that's disgusting. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I know. That's but that's like, like an actual line you heard. Yeah, that's... I can. I'll show you because well, if we play it, we'll get straight. We'll get like hit with a fucking strike, or I don't even know. But yeah, we can't play the music. I'll show you the video. Knocking corn out of dingers, yeah, because their guns are pieces of shit because they're all smuggled around because you can't have them in Europe. You're just jamming makeshift bullets into them, hoping the gun. Yeah, dude, I don't. Fuck Europe. I know. Don't even. But if you're a fan from Europe, thank you. Probably you should. You should probably immigrate. We probably do have a fan from Europe. Yeah, they should probably just immigrate to the United States. Try to get here as soon as possible. Luckily, our government still likes people like you, so getting in won't be as difficult. For now. Yeah, for now. You know, uh, yeah, there's a lot of... There's a lot of stuff we could talk about. There's a lot, but also Should we not save a lot of some of it? Oh, definitely. Should we just... Do you want to get to an hour? Yeah, let's hit okay, an hour. Okay, okay. Let's hit an hour. Do you have, do you have a, a story that could take us out? No, not... not. I feel like all my stories are going to require a little bit more. That's what attention. I'm thinking. The We're also in the last little... Well, bit... I can tell one. Wait, hold on. Hold I can on. tell one real quick. How quick is it? So I was going to say, we are in, like, the last, like, there are a lot. probably, like, a fraction of our audience are still listening at this point. So since we're still talking to the people who are oh, still listening, you. is there anything you want to say to these people? We should probably start. We should honestly also. Dude, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much. 
listen to our podcast, like our TikTok videos. Yeah, and, you know, well, just tell other people now. about it. And we really appreciate people. that. Yeah, tell other people our about quality the would become a lot better. Yeah, we'll be able to use real microphones. Um, not chopsticks. Not chopsticks. Uh, not pencils. You know who you are. Dickhead. That's another Fuck thing. Fuck you. Why are people so mean on the internet? I have no idea. We've like, got, we've gotten so much hate on like we're just posting clips on TikTok, just like slowly building a following or whatever. And there are so many people who yeah, are people just, are just assholes. It doesn't really bother me or him very much, but like why would you do that to somebody? It's fucking cunt. It's yeah, it doesn't it's because it, it doesn't bother me because we'll screenshot them and we'll just send them to each other and we laugh. We genuinely It's just laugh. weird. It's like, yeah, because we're getting made fun of uh, by a kid who's like 10 years younger than us, who's calling us gay. He's like, yeah. they're gay. It's like, they're not. what the fuck are you talking about? Also, I don't know. These people are obviously like void of any creativity of any kind because none yeah, of them. Yeah, they just don't want to take a anything. chance. No. All they do all is you create guys, hate. They're, yeah, they just get it. They're just embarrassed. They just are like, I don't want people to see my face on TikTok. I'm, my profile picture so is going to be None of them have their actual face in them. That's why it's so weird that they talk so much shit. On Absolute Facebook. pussies. Or get up here on the mic. We've been, we talk for an hour on the microphone. Let's see what your work looks like, okay? Yeah, dude. Find one of your friends. Yeah. Get, find your funniest friend. Get him, get him to sit on your and couch. And say, this is what you do. Say, hey. You want to start a podcast? Yeah. Oh my god. Shut up, you, with you pieces of shit, idiot, ass. Yeah. Let's start a podcast. Does that's fucking what that's happens. the dumbest fucking quote. Whenever I, oh, it's it's just because it's. I would be upset if if they said if they watched the video and were like, when you said this, you this is just wrong. Like that would. Yeah, don't do that. That would hurt my feelings. Don't do that because that will hurt. Unless feelings. you're fact checking us, because we don't care about it, if it was a fact or not. Oh, dude, this we're not intelligent. No, this and this podcast is also we're not striving to be like intellectuals. We're spewing retarded we're, bullshit. For you know, hour. we're philosophers. Yeah, we so are. We I'm a modern day philosopher. Okay. Yeah, he's like Confucius. I hang out with millionaires, and I also hang out with. Millionaires. No, he doesn't. He doesn't hang out with millionaires. I hang out with mil- millionaires. He hangs out with. Yeah, I bring Woody's. millionaires and Woody's together, and I watch them fight to the death. That'd be a. <laughs> That'd be a great, um, like reality TV show. Like, millionaires would never get in on it. No, it would. You know, having like a Woody in their house. No, like you want to fight a mentally deranged person? No, you would not. You win nothing except for you continue to live, and this is completely voluntary. You're not gonna. You just have to let them explore your house, live with you and your family for a week, and let us know what happens. Let us know how many times he makes a pass at your wife. Oh, it'd be con- well, like every thirty-five minutes. He'd be like, he'd just be like, he'd keep DMing her, like, like "Hey, baby, hey, you know what, battle rapper? I'm gonna send you lyrics of me listening to you." He would just, he would say shit. He'd text her, be like, "Hey, I'm getting in the shower in fifteen Imagine... minutes. If you want to jump in, just shit like that." She's like, "What?" He'd the send fuck? some battle raps. He'd say, "Imagine me saying that to your husband. I'm gonna fuck your husband till you love me." You remember? Oh, you probably didn't see that, but that was a Mike Tyson quote. Not about. Oh Tyson. no, I have. I yeah, have. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you till you love me. Man, fuck that guy. Beetlejuice quote. I love Beetlejuice. Caleb thinks that Beetlejuice doesn't think he has any fans, but he definitely does. He, he's like ginormous on TikTok. Whoever told Beetlejuice he doesn't have any fans should be shot and hung because we love him and we want to see him interact with more no. things and people. It's not, that, areas. it's not that I think that Beetlejuice thinks that all of his fans are like he doesn't have any fans. It's that he, I watched a TikTok of him saying that all of his fans were drug addicts and they're dead or they got shot in the forehead. I saved it. I'll show you up. Beetlejuice. That's not right. Yeah, no, it's the we crazy. love you. If we can get beat on the podcast. No, I think Beetlejuice and Woody. That'd be insane. Could you even imagine? Guys, yeah, seriously. The world's not ready for that collaboration. The everyone loved the Woody clip. Everyone loved the Woody clip. If it's on honestly, we are only like the messengers to Woody. It's truly going to be a group effort on your end completely if we can actually get Woody on the show. 
We can only do so much. No. We need your help. We guys, you we guys have to become need, successful so we can pay them. We need you guys like fundraise money for like cartons okay. of cigarettes and he gallons doesn't of smoke liquor. cigarettes. You never smoke cigarettes. He will. I'm sure he's gotten into cigarettes. No. All I crazy don't think people he has. love no. ripping butts all day. He doesn't smoke cigarettes. He does a lot of other shit, but not cigarette smokes. Like hardcore shit? I don't think he does hardcore shit anymore. Like hardcore drugs? He might have used to. I'm not going to claim that he did in the past. I don't. I honestly don't know for sure. But he doesn't now. Nothing hardcore. I have a couple of stories about. All right. Some people doing some hardcore. Shit. We can wait for that. We'll wait for that. Next Maybe story. that may that may be a Patreon thing. Sometime in the future. Oh yeah, I could tell some stories about that. Oh, too. we will just tell the most fucked up. That's what the Patreon will be for. Is for stories we cannot tell on here. Yep, and this is the end of this podcast. Yeah, we Thank got you go. very much. Bye-bye. Deuces.